Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest this week in the world of civic science news. Dinosaurs are popular in science-themed art. Sci art, or using art to engage non-specialists in science, is an unconventional way of getting people excited about science and is increasingly widespread online. Analyzing tweets using the hashtag SciArt, researchers found that the top ranking topic is dinosaurs and paleontology. Other topics like animals and microbes, specifically art related to the COVID-19 pandemic, are also popular. Using art for science can engage more diverse audiences overall. When trying to engage audiences online, about science, consider using dinosaurs or collaborating with an artist for sci art that might resonate with larger audiences. The Civic Sci TV Network's founder, Fanuel Muindi, will give a presentation on civic science as part of the Sci Commerce Mentor Chat series, where experts in science communication host talks on different professional topics. On August 22nd, from 2 30 to 3 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, he will talk about mapping the civic science landscape, including funding, training, and scholarships. Be sure to check it out at the link below to sign up for the Zoom call. The Falling Walls competition finalists have been announced. The competition for the latest research breakthroughs that have an impact on society is hosted by the Falling Walls Science Summit that will take place in November 2024 in Berlin. The Science Engagement category, Falling Walls Engage, has a number of projects from around the world, from an ocean science jam night in Germany to interactive land restoration training for youth in Malaysia. Check out the full list at the link in the description below. Thanks to the SciComer newsletter for sharing. Are you looking for opportunities to get involved with engaging the public in science? While well, the Ecological Society of America is hosting 10 science communication fellowships in collaboration with National Park Services. Fellows will receive skills training, mentorship, and a small stipend as they develop a product focused on public engagement on behalf of parks in the Northeast of the United States. Topics range from climate change, seagrasses, and more, so be sure to check out the full list at the link in the description below. Applications are due August 12th. Thank you so much for watching this week's roundup of Civic Science News. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest happenings at the intersection of science and society. See you next time.